How did Tesla get so far ahead in the EV race? In this video, we will discuss how Tesla stacks up against the competition and how they got where they are. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. So before I actually discuss how Tesla got where they are and how they got such a lead, I want to actually put in numbers the lead that Tesla has over other electric vehicle manufacturers. According to sales data and information from Inside EVs, Tesla has a huge market share in the electric vehicle market both in the U.S. and globally. And these numbers even include plug-in hybrids which still have a gasoline engine. According to the sales data, 78% of all the EVs sold in the United States were Tesla vehicles. And 17% of all EVs sold globally were Tesla vehicles. This is very impressive for a relatively new car manufacturer. Tesla also has a very large market cap for the actual size of the company. If you look at six of the top auto manufacturers by market cap, you'll see there that Tesla is actually number two and they have surpassed Volkswagen by quite a large amount now. Another really important way that Tesla is ahead is of course the range of their electric vehicles. Many people have said, and I believe this to be true, that range is king. And one of the reasons that people are afraid to move to an electric vehicle is because of range anxiety and not having enough range to go about their longer trips. Well, if you look at this rank, these are the top 10 longest range EVs on the market right now. And you'll see there that the 2020 Tesla Model S long range plus with the all wheel drive has an EPA rated range of 390 miles per charge. If you notice there, the top four vehicles are all Tesla. The Tesla Model S, 390 miles. The Tesla Model X, 351 miles. The Tesla Model 3, 322 miles. And the Tesla Model Y will have a range of 315 miles. Tesla clearly has a big advantage when it comes to the range of their electric vehicles. Another area where Tesla has a big lead is in the efficiency of their vehicles. The efficiency of an electric vehicle is very important because of the energy density difference between a battery and gasoline. In order to have an affordable, long-range vehicle, a high efficiency number is needed. Here's an example of several vehicles compared to Tesla's Model 3 Standard Range Plus from FuelEconomy.gov, and you'll see there that Tesla clearly has the most efficient vehicle in this class. If you look at the Model S compared to the Porsche Taycan and the Jaguar I-Pace, you'll see there that it is also a much more efficient vehicle. And this is even before the recent update, which took the Model S EPA range up to 390 miles. If we compare the Model X efficiency to the Audi e-tron, you'll see there that it is also a more efficient vehicle. And this is even before the Model X update, which took its range from 328 miles to 351 miles. Another area where Tesla has the lead is in the performance of their vehicles. If you look at the sedan comparison chart there, you'll see that the Tesla Model S performance and the Porsche Taycan Turbo S have virtually identical stats. But when you look at the cost of these vehicles, you'll see what a great deal the Tesla Model S really is. You could almost purchase two Tesla Model S performance sedans for the same price as one Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Then of course you have the Tesla Model 3 performance, which for under $60,000 is an incredible deal going 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Now if we take a look at the SUV segment, we'll see that the Model X is of course the fastest SUV by far and of course the most expensive. But if you take the more affordable Model Y, which is just under $61,000, it still beats out the Ford Mustang Mach-E GT, the Jaguar I-Pace, the Mercedes EQC, and of course the Audi e-tron. Another important factor in where Tesla currently has a lead is in the safety of their vehicles. According to the NHTSA, the Tesla Model 3 has the lowest probability of injury of any vehicle they've tested since 2011. The Model S is number two, and the Model X is number three. Tesla has created three very safe vehicles, and they are currently the leaders in safety. Now, one other area that I want to mention where Tesla has a lead is, of course, in their technology. They were the first manufacturer to offer over-the-air updates in order to add features and to change the performance of their vehicles. And if you pay for the full self-driving package, you get some features like Smart Summon, which allows your vehicle to come find you in a parking lot. 
and if you're driving on the highway, you can enable navigate on autopilot, which allows your vehicle not only to change lanes, but also to take an exit. As I've talked about in previous videos, the user interface and the responsiveness of Tesla's touchscreens and their integration of their technology is of course best in the industry. Another major way that Tesla is ahead in their technology is of course with their batteries and their powertrain. When we talked a minute ago about the performance and the efficiency of Tesla vehicles, this of course is all because of the technology with their batteries and their powertrain system. So now that we've actually laid out how far Tesla is ahead of the rest of the industry, I want to actually take just a moment here and talk about how Tesla got ahead and how they got where they are today. One of the big ways that Tesla has gotten ahead of the competition is of course by vertically integrating. The definition of vertical integration is just simply the combination in one company of two or more stages of production normally operated by separate companies. So for instance, if you take a look at the Tesla Model 3, you can clearly see this vertical integration. Tesla manufactures the battery cells, the battery packs, the motors, the cooling system, the battery management systems, etc. And these are all designed to work together. Tesla did not originally set out to be vertically integrated, but as Elon Musk talked about in the recent Third Row podcast interview, they had to either vertically integrate or die. Elon Musk talked about in that interview how suppliers did not want to sell to Tesla in the beginning because they were such a small company. This forced Tesla to have to design and manufacture their own parts. But being forced to vertically integrate actually helped Tesla. Their major components, as I mentioned, like the battery, the powertrain, their full self-driving computer, their software, their battery management systems, these are all designed by Tesla, manufactured by or for Tesla directly, and they are designed to work together very efficiently. Sean Menchel with the YouTube channel All Things EV recently interviewed Monroe Associates, and he was talking about the difference between how the Model 3 is built and how the Chevy Bolt is built. One of the examples that Sean Mitchell used was the electric system of the Bolt. The Chevy Bolt takes four cables to do what the Tesla Model 3 can do with one cable. When it comes to cooling systems, the Tesla Model 3 has one integrated cooling system and the Chevy Bolt has three separate systems that do the same thing. Since Tesla is able to vertically integrate and design everything to work together and combine everything together, they have less complexity, they have less weight, they have less cost, they have more performance, and this leads to more margin. Another reason why I believe Tesla has gotten ahead of the competition is because of something Elon Musk also mentioned on the Third Row podcast, and that is the short feedback loop of their manufacturing. So this really piggybacks off of vertical integration because vertical integration leads to a short engineering feedback loop and allows you to go through the engineering process and the improvement process a lot faster. Tesla can design, build, test, and improve quicker than any other auto manufacturer that I'm aware of. In the third row podcast interview, Elon Musk talked about the long lead time for parts when working with other manufacturers. Having a long lead time substantially slows down how fast you can improve a product and fix any problems that might arise. The faster, of course, that you can test and improve your vehicles and your systems, the more ahead you will get. Speed of improvement is the name of the game, and Tesla leads in the speed of improvement. The next way that Tesla has really gotten ahead of the competition is, of course, by their constant improvement. Tesla is unique in the fact that they really don't follow the model year sequence of traditional auto manufacturers. They constantly are changing their vehicles and making updates even in the middle of a model year. If you purchased a Tesla vehicle at the beginning of the year and then you purchase that same vehicle at the end of the year, chances are that the vehicle that you purchase at the end of the year would actually be a different vehicle and a better vehicle. Now, most of the time, these constant updates are not always seen, but they are kind of smaller updates. But we have seen some recent mid-year updates that were more substantial. In 2016, the Model S front nose cone changed. We also recently got the Raven update on the Model S, which increased the range from 335 miles to 373 miles, and also updated the motors, adding a more efficient Model 3 motor and also a suspension upgrade. 
And then recently, Tesla also increased the Tesla Model S range from 373 to 390 miles. The rate of constant improvement for Tesla does not only apply to their vehicles, but also to their manufacturing and how they build their factories. In the Q4 letter, Tesla had a picture of the Fremont factory manufacturing layout versus how Gigafactory Shanghai in China is laid out. And here in the picture, you can see that the process from stamping to the welding to the general assembly to the paint shop, the vehicle actually has to travel in separate buildings and, of course, has to go through a somewhat inefficient process. But if you look at the manufacturing in Gigafactory Shanghai, you'll see how they have simplified the process and put it all in one single building. This, of course, makes it a lot more efficient and less expensive to build the vehicles there. The last factor that I want to talk about is, of course, the forward thinking of Elon Musk and the Tesla team. Their forward thinking has allowed them to get ahead of the competition. Tesla was the first company to put lithium-ion batteries in a production car. Tesla built Gigafactory Nevada ahead of time before they needed all the battery cells, and of course they beat the rest of the auto manufacturers in this. Tesla started building out their supercharging network in 2012, and this is actually one of their big competitive advantages now because it allows you to purchase a Tesla and travel long distances without having to worry about finding a charger. They, of course, were the first company to have over-the-air software updates, which allow them to update and improve their cars without actually having to have a vehicle at a service center. They're also forward thinking in how they're approaching autonomy and full self-driving with a vision-based system. And of course, their most recent truck design, the Cybertruck, is a very forward thinking design that has been very popular. So I know there are probably more reasons we could come up with to explain how Tesla has gained a lead on the rest of the industry. What are some of the reasons that I missed? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section, so please let me know what you think and how you think that Tesla got ahead. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing as well. If you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Thank you so much.